Hello everybody and welcome, welcome back, back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I'm Jelly. And I'm Sissy. And what we've done is we've reset the days and we're getting ready to go into the snow temple. So we've been gone quite a while and... This is because I lost our classic controller. So anyway, we are warping to actually get on with what we're supposed to be doing. Mm, that is up here in Snowhead. Sorry if a little bit of this is kind of repeat footage, but... Uh, Say something, Bob. So we're gonna have to play the Goron's Lullaby again, just like we did last time. But I just wanted to make sure we had plenty of time. There, there we go. Sorry you guys, I don't really know what happened there, but we've been gone doing a lot of stuff lately. I've been to my college orientation, and then we went to my aunt's house to get some pictures taken of me and Joey and our cousins, and then we also went to the aquarium recently, and that was fun, and the county fair was yesterday. Well, I mean, it's all week, but we went there yesterday, so we've been just doing a whole bunch of stuff, and yeah... Anyway, I might kind of, I might kind of suck at this because I haven't practiced much and we did our practice file, but when we did our practice file, it was like before all these trips and stuff. So I'm really not sure, but I didn't want to do it again and make you guys wait longer. So even if I kind of suck and I just take a bunch of time to do stuff, I'll edit it together to where it doesn't take a bunch of time for you guys. And I just didn't want to go all the way through it again because I already had some trouble, like, remembering exactly where to go next. So I had to look a bunch of stuff up and be reading it. And I can't really read it while I'm trying to do this. Okay, I need to turn this way so I'm not... Okay, and this room is where I left off last time. So don't be a Goron for that fight because that's a bad idea. This is kind of big. It's going to take more than average strength to move this thing. Yeah, in case you couldn't tell, the giant block takes a Gor Goron to move it. You have to be a Goron and then you can move that. Now, there's a Wolfos guy in here, but I don't really even want to mess with him because there's really no purpose. Let's grab us some magic here, in case I can't do this very well. Okay, Tattle, okay, 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 let's listen. What you have to say? In slippery places like this, you can crawl up as a Goron and roll your way across. Why don't you try it? I will try it, thank you. But, you gotta be careful to miss those. Okay, and there should be two fairies right here. Oh, shoot. Let's hope. I think you can just bomb this and we don't have bombs. Oh! Really? Okay, so we'll go ahead and fall to the ground and do that over again because I should have rolled around for a little while and gotten a few. I really thought there were pots down here. Yeah, see, so I'm already screwing stuff off. But I should have probably. Oh, and when you're a Goron, the lava can't hurt you. I actually have absolutely no way to get arrows, so why don't I meet you back here with some? Okay, guys, I know I said I'd meet you back down there, but I decided meeting you up here was a better idea because here is actually where we need to be. So, what we're gonna do is switch to the Great Fairy Mask, which. 
does some awesome things for us and then uh, put it on and the fairies come to us which would have been kind of a big help but I didn't want to interrupt like last time and um, the last dungeon because I already went in there without it and I knew I could do it it was just gonna be a little bit of extra effort but yeah so I pop this and then she'll come up to me and I'm pretty sure you can get all the fairies all the time like without the great fairy mask but it's just so much easier and I was gonna have to get the great fairy mask to get all the masks yeah so I got another one that one was waiting right here um, if you go to guides online they'll usually tell you that should be like the tenth fairy you get for some reason I guess because you don't have to come in here until later but I mean it just doesn't seem like it. Anyway, you got the dungeon map. Let's start to open the subscreens and view the map screen. Areas on the map that appear in blue are the places you have visited. Your current location is the flashing area. And then use the control stick to view another floor. And now that's all we're going to do in this room right now. We'll do more in that room later, obviously, because they wouldn't just put a room there with all kinds of weird stuff in it and just give you the map. I didn't even mean to do that spin attack. And this here is the main room, which is, I guess, why we get such a huge view of it, I guess, so we can see how far up it goes. And there's the boss room at the very top. Okay, I didn't really know this until I was just messing on our practice file, and I never really processed that there's, like, fire right beside that ice, so all you gotta do is shoot it through there, and... Game, don't glitch on me. Quit glitching. Anyway, that'll melt that. And we can use that later. We don't necessarily need to, but it's always helpful. So we're going to go through this gold door here. And I think, well, we've only been recording for ten minutes. And like five of those was me running around searching for arrows and crap. So... And when I ran around so long, it took me forever to find some arrows. And they were, like, right there in the first room you came into. But I went all over the place looking for them, not even thinking about crushing those icicles. Anyway. So, we should have plenty of time to get this done. That unlocks another chest. That'll be a stray fairy that we can't get until a little later. But we'll get it. Anyway, and here is a small key. Use it to open a locked door. You can use the key only in this dungeon. I think that's a really good idea, making it like, I don't know, I think it makes the dungeons a little bit harder because some of the old Zelda games that I haven't played very much of, but I've played a little of, um... Yeah. See, here you won't have to go back through that other room where, like, we rolled across and all that. And you can just hop right out here and then go through the locked door. But there's some little folks in this room, too, and I don't really want to mess with anyone because I just don't like unnecessary fighting because we don't get anything for beating them and I just don't want to do it. So, anyway, we found the compass. Now any of the dungeons hidden things will appear on the map. Yay! <laughs> so, we've had a pretty, like, full week and really a full month because we just had so much to do and it's kind of interfered with us making these videos and we haven't been able to record much. So, um, anyway, I have difficulty lining this up. Ow! But if you look over there, you can see some little ice, like, snow stuff hanging out of that. And, and if you look, you can kind of see where the pixels on, on the very edge, like, of that kind of look a little bit different. And I, I mean, that's kind of a mistake on, like, developer's part because, yeah, you can obviously see that in there is that. But first, we've got to smash. Ah. 
And you can never do two at once. You've got to wait for it to stop shaking or it won't take. Woo, we got 20 rupees. Oh, anyway. So before I reset time, I went ahead and... Where am I? Yeah. I went ahead and put some of our money in the bank. This is our fourth stray fairy. Yay! Anyway. So... If you look at that from the other side, the wall's not there. I don't really know if that was... Okay. Well, so, what we're trying to do is get over here, and I think... Um, yeah, you can see there's a locked door right there. I don't even know the point to making us do this. This is just so pointlessly... Like... I mean, I just don't understand this room, because... The door that you need unlocked is right there, and, like, the key is right here in this room, and it's just, I mean, I don't know. I don't know why. I just think it's stupid and kind of a waste of time. It's it's not even a little bit difficult to figure out. It's, it's not challenging at all. It's just time-consuming and annoying. But, anyway, we will punch this and get another small key. Woohoo! I just bounced off that wall. That was cool looking. Hey, open the door. Okay, I think we'll get the fairy. There's a stray fairy in this room. We'll get it and then we will end this episode. Oh. Let's put our great fairy mask on. And I need a lens of truth. Just to show everybody. Okay, anyway, so up here in the ceiling there's a bubble with a fairy in it. <sighs> come on, come down to us. Come to us, fairy. You found a stray fairy, this is your fifth one. All right, thank you guys very much for watching. I'm sorry Joey's not talking at all. It's very unusual, but as you can tell, he's got a mind of his own and sometimes doesn't want to do things. So I will see you next time.